Oh, but like, so they're reopening, right? I think yeah. they were talking about restaurants and movie theaters mostly, which so... restaurants, what's the, what's, you could still order, you could eat at home. Like you could order food, watch TV as you're eating. You could, or you could go to a, a restaurant, sit down and you can just be bored. I don't. Are restaurants so, necessary? It's a... It's the environment, usually, that people go for. Like, environment, talking with friends. Yeah. Um, sometimes, like, you go to, like, Chili's or Buffalo Wild Wings and watch the game there. And, so, and that's kind of what people are wanting to return to. Yeah. Um, and I get that, but also... What games are on right now for for that situation? I know, I know, I know. I'm just, uh, <laughs> I think baseball actually started again, right? They started playing games. Maybe I don't know. Um, I think I, I know heard something about that. Dwayne Johnson's about to re uh, release his season two of his sports uh, game esque show. Baller? Wait, is it Ballers on HBO? No, or no, is it no, a different thing? It's straight up. A, it's a completely different thing. It's a. Uh, titans or something like that it's it's literally like oh, think um yes yes i know what you're talking about yeah yeah no you, something like abc you know. or some shit yeah um, uh, and uh hulu okay yeah that makes sense i watched cool. the whole thing on hulu the first season it was actually Is really it? good nice okay i might have to check that out i've been i've been watching how i met your mother again for like the <laughs> seventh time probably Jeez. great show actually i'm watching it twice right now because i'm watching it on my own time and then also with my friend, who I finally got into it, Jesus and uh, Christ. she is hesitant to admit that it's probably the greatest show she's ever seen. So <laughs> it's really cool. Like I'm watching it. I'm like, wasn't that awesome? And she's like, no, <laughs> no, of course it wasn't. <laughs> and I'm like, you fucking liar. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're uh, me and my dad are rewatching the Witcher series. Oh, that's good. I need to actually. I I watched the first episode of that, bro. And then I didn't continue. I had there was so much other stuff going on. Like, I need. I definitely need to watch it though. Was it's it like easy. overall? Is it great? Like, I, me and my dad are like, this is gonna be the next Game of Thrones. This is so cool. good. I don't know if it's gonna be as good, and I don't want to make that claim ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's a really good show, and it could be a uh, a, a new. Game of Thrones as it feels the same need essentially for people. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I get that. That's what I'm more trying to communicate with, like how good the show is and the content and everything. And I get honestly you. I think the sword play is a bit better in this one, but that's just Witcher in general. They is have it more choreographed crazy sword skills. What was that? Is it, it's just more choreographed, I guess? Uh Witchers uh, have insane scored abilities just mm -hmm. because they fight monsters so whenever they go to men it's like it's not even a competition anymore so That's they're fair. just sitting there Jeez. twirling around and well, just ending everyone's life in seconds yeah i get you the other thing though is like i never played the games um i definitely like i stayed more into like the first person shooters and stuff mm -hmm. i played bio not bio well, okay i did play bioshock but i was thinking um fallout I played Fallout more um, than like any other of those type of games, the RPGs and stuff. So that's um, where that's where my expertise no, comes good, in good. because I'm exact opposite. I've played a ton of those RPGs and I've played Witcher three. Yeah. I'm going back and I'm playing the others now and I want to read the books and stuff. But mm -hmm. I have played Witcher three, not a lot of it, but I played enough, and it's just insane the stuff you can do in the game. Uh, in the show, it's it's very choreographed, yes, but like, just the sword abilities and, and what is being used is crazy. Yeah. Fuck. I kind of so. like. I want to play. It. I know it's a long game though. Like you could do, just like a hundred hours in there probably. Easily, I'd say Skyrim esque, but not still. I don't know if it's still right on the scale of Skyrim yet or not. Yeah. Uh, I haven't looked into any of the add-on, the uh, DLCs God, or anything. Imagine, so like, no a clue. Elder Scrolls, like, TV show produced by, like, HBO. That could be fun. We'll have to see on that one. I guess they already do. Maybe that's just Quite Game of lot. Thrones, though. Like, 
Uh, aren't they doing a spinoff or something like that? For Game of Thrones? No, I don't think so. I think there was a rumor that they were doing it. Like, there were some scenes that were shot that were oh, leaked okay. or something like that that looked like it could be. But I don't think they were. Uh, I don't uh, think it came okay. out that they were. But who knows? I mean, they could they could just be lying to us and be like, oh, shit, keep that secret. <laughs> and then just like in three years, I'll be like, by the way, here's the Targaryen show. Because I think that's what it was. They were doing like a Targaryen spinoff, which no, yeah. would be sick, dude. Imagine just like the the olden days before that show of just like all the dragons, the Mad King and like. Oh, could be that'd interesting. Be so, that'd be so cool. That'd be like actually really cool. Um, and speaking of uh, RPGs and magic and stuff <laughs> like that, good Assassin's transition. Creed Valhalla. <laughs> what? I said good transition, good segue. <laughs> no. Assassin's fucking... Creed Valhalla. The the cinematic preview trailer came out. Yeah, we just watched that actually because we were in a meeting Friday when it came out. Yeah. Which sucked. We don't have to talk about that because I don't want to get fired. So, um, <laughs> no, we we just watched it before this started, and yeah. uh, it was just awesome. Like Assassin's Creed has always been one of those games that I will love. Like I played the first one when I was little, like when it came out. Um, mm. Probably shouldn't have, but. It was just awesome. It was hard as fuck, though. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know. Fuck it. There was no instructions, basically. You just had to walk around and figure things out. Mm-hmm. So it was really hard as a kid because you don't, you don't understand that. You're just like, well, where do I go now? Like, um, So I'm always excited when a new title releases. Um, didn't watch the movie. I watched, I watched like a quarter of the movie when that came out because it was, was just it not good. It wasn't good. No, I couldn't okay. finish it. It was like the story's okay, but like it was, it was like hazy. Like I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It just wasn't filmed or edited correctly. I don't know. Produced, maybe. Yeah, I guess produced is the right word. Um, so, but yeah, this. I think that was when they uh, decided that they were going to take a break because they were putting out like syndicate and unity and all that and i was like these are kind of trash games year after year yeah um and they were like we're gonna take a year off like rework our entire like um development strategy and figure out what to do to make this game work and then origins came out and i was like i guess i'll check it out kind of like defeated at that point <laughs> mm. and it was the best game i've ever played dude no it wasn't the best game but it was a great assassin's creed game mm -hmm. um just they added the rpg style to it finally there was really nothing like assassin's creed 3 and black flag kind of rpg but at the same time it wasn't in the way that you can do it now you can actually build a character now yeah and it's like it's cool you can be stealthy or fucking just like um explosive and just kill everybody like it's it's really cool so this came out and yeah. i'm excited for it like i'm really excited for it yeah no it, it should be interesting uh i need to I need to get on and actually play like origins and odyssey and stuff like that but like i love that type of game so if you're saying that's exactly where it is i have to play it now oh yeah definitely you would you would definitely enjoy it like that would be, I imagine you would probably get full satisfaction from that game. Good. Just the entire re-release. I don't know. I don't know how they're handling that. I don't know if they'd have like canon, you know, like Star Wars or whatever, or mm. if they're just like, eh. I mean, there is canon, right? There's a story, but I don't know which games fit in still. <laughs> That's the issue. <laughs> Cause they might just be like, mm, fuck unity. And I'll Maybe. be like, I mean, like, fair, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> no, okay, so into this game, we through the re-releases we've had ancient Egypt, a ancient Greece. That yeah. was hard to say, and now we're going to ancient, just Vikings. I don't know what England? that'd be. Ancient, I guess England? England, but it's more like Iceland, right? Like. Yeah, well, I think it's going to be a bit of both because you got to remember Vikings only 
live in Iceland. They don't raid around there because they're all Vikings. They usually True. go over to England uh, or I think it's a Welsh at the time or something like that. Yeah. And they go and just raid as much as they can all around the coast. True. That's true. So it would be like ancient England then. Yeah. But I'm most excited for the the lore because I've I kind of feel like they're piggybacking off of God of War a little bit, just like in the uh, grand scheme of things. But the first two games you had the ancient Egypt lore of the gods like Ra and Anubis and all that. Um, but now. And then the second one was all ancient Greece, so you have your Zeus and Poseidon, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, I'm not really, like, learned in the, the like, Norse gods that well. So, like, it's going to be cool to go through and kind of learn about them. I'm all about, like, um, mythology. Mythologies. Yeah. So, it's no. I'm excited for that, for sure. I absolutely love mythology. And, yeah, it definitely, from, like, Ancient Egypt, ancient Greece, um, mm-hmm. and Nordic mythology. There, I, I think it's more of a uh, piggyback along mythology than God of War specifically, because God of yeah. War changed a lot of lore. Yeah, because they they wanted fit. to input the character as part of the lore, right? So yeah, they wanted to input the character as part of the lore and mm-hmm. make it to where he can destroy the lore. Um, which in and of itself that game those games are amazing i will not deny that i'm just saying i don't think the piggyback is on specifically god of war i guess more on the mythologies and kind of bringing a more i don't know what the right word is just like a a more interesting uh topics or more interesting uh storyline than oh i'm going around and killing people with this knife that's hidden in my wrist contraption which in the trailer was awesome that was like you knew like the whole time you're watching the trailer you're like well this guy's obviously like the the assassin right like he has to be be. he's fucking killing everybody and then the big guy from england he was just like i'm about to kill you with your own sword (laughs) and so he has it up against his neck and he's like i got you and then fucking the viking just stabs him through the to the throat right uh, th- was it through the face directly? Directly through the face. It was okay. through the slit in sick. his helmet. It was really cool because his like his like arm brace had like a uh, a blade on it, which wasn't really hidden because it was like on the outside instead of underneath. Um, was it? Right? Was I it on so. the top or was it on the bottom? I think it was on the top and it came over his hand. Either way, either way, you can cool. hide that still in the in the in your bracer. It's not hard to hide yeah. that kind of thing. People usually don't notice or see a dagger like that. At least in those times, it's not commonplace. So yeah, that's true. I don't know. It was like it was sick, dude. It was the, sick. the axe throw scene. That was sick. I love yeah. it when people throw things that shouldn't be thrown. The axes um, are thrown, man. Come on, I love throwing axes. That's that's no, like a, I know my favorite thing at Renfest. <laughs> Ooh, true. I wonder if Renfest is gonna go on this year. Um, I really hope so. I want to go and throw more axes and shoot more cool. bows. You can throw axes anywhere, though. Just I mean, I have one. a throwing axe, but <laughs> I don't have a place to really throw said axe. Just go to the Walmart. Oh my god, no. <laughs> there's like there's logs out in the gardening section. Like you can fucking practice. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they'll pay you for splitting their logs. You can repackage them. That'd be cool. Oh my gosh, that'd be <laughs> it'd be hilarious but horrifying at the same time. People are just like, What the hell is he doing with an axe? <laughs> you would get arrested for sure, like immediately. Oh, hundred like, percent. They would be, they wouldn't even allow you to go inside the book, sir. What is that in your pocket? I know you're not happy to see me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like big, well, it's actually an axe. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a big tactical axe too. It's like it's full blacked out and everything. So that is not like a good look. <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> Sir, what is that long black thing in your pocket? I'd be like, um, <laughs> Uh, just I gotta I gotta go like where's the gardening <laughs> section like <laughs> <laughs> no 
no but i'm super excited for the game dude i i'm really interested in the gods and the the mythology um and mm. i just i just bought the second one because i never played odyssey i don't know oh because i think it came out when i was buying call of duty <laughs> modern warfare Probably. bad purchase um so i think i played that mostly and i never got to it i was like i can't i can't justify spending 120 dollars for two games that i'm only gonna play one of at the time so mm -hmm. but now i got it got it on steam fucking 70 percent off basically yeah for 20 bucks heck yeah and i'm gonna play it as soon as we're done recording oh,